So, I just seen this video right now by 16 to Life Chill, who's reacting to that interview that Dubs had with that prison guard, Hector. And I overlooked what Chill is bringing up here. But once again, even in this interview, Dubs goes to race baiting. Once again, he's got to drag somebody down to lift himself up. He's got to he's got to make the blacks look bad in order to make himself and and what he what he's claiming to represent on here look so good. Now, shout out to the South Side man, to the Sureños, the real ones. But this dude is not a real one. He's not none of that. Yeah, he'd been to prison and at one point he was on that side of the line. And, you know, he was he was he was with the business or whatever, with the Mexican mafia, blah, blah, blah. But here online, he's none of that. Because in there, at a point in time, he debriefed and he went SNY. As the paperwork is out there for anyone to see in Via V Row. Now, <clears throat> it's crazy because they both deflect from the conversation at hand. Me, myself, when I watched and I reacted to that video, my interest was solely on whether or not Dubs was going to check this fool and demand an apology. But obviously, he's not. He's partial in his politics. He's selective in his politicking. Because he's playing to an audience, playing them up, trying to convince those who don't know no better that he's still all that when he ain't no good. And once again, he uses the blacks to do that. And if you watch this video, if you watch that interview, um, and you watch Chill break it down, you see how, you know... They want to act as though they were reluctant to bring it up and to bring the blacks out like that, but they weren't. It was a distraction. It was a deflection from the topic at hand. And Dubs is constantly using the blacks to do that, creating racial divisions because he's a racist at heart and he's scared at heart. There was no need for that at all. The blacks and what the blacks do and how the blacks politic on the yard had absolutely nothing to do with this cop, Hector Bravo, calling all the paisas, calling all the Mexicanos chomos and joking about it. There's no other context that needs to be had. There's no, there's no, oh, I was joking. It's like Chill said, you don't joke about nothing like that. It can get someone killed. So to even allow someone to use that as a disclaimer, oh, I was just joking, and he's trying to get him to say that. He's putting words in his mouth. Dubs is doing that. That's not a justification for, for saying what he said. And Dubs knows that. But he ain't gonna he ain't gonna sit there and push Hector. He ain't gonna sit there and, and, and check him and demand respect. He ain't going to do that because he knows that Hector knows the truth about him. Hector worked at SMY and he knows Dubs was there. The last thing he's going he's gonna to try to do is trigger that dude to put him on blast. So what does he do? He goes to that wild card, that joker up his sleeve, the blacks, and throws them under the bus this is this is distract and deflect the conversation onto something else and make it about the blacks. Dude, it's not about the blacks. It's about what that man said about the paisas, period. There was absolutely no need to bring up the blacks. But when you see that when when Hector goes there, how you know he was he came out with his hair flying back on him. He's a fake phony, man. He's fraudulent and he's full of fear and loathing. And it's evident by, by the content he puts out.
constantly raise Beatty, constantly doing stuff like that, constantly trying to put everybody down and, and put himself up. Bro, people know where 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 the South Siders and Sureño stand in there on the main line. There's a legacy and a history with them Vatos, dude. There's mad stories about them on, online from some solid people, even those that are not solid. Mundo got some, some of the best content when it comes to the Emmy. If not the best content when it comes to the Emmy. And there's and there's solid Southsiders on here that got good content that speaks to that as well, having been on the main lines them, themselves. But you don't see these other content creators, you know what I mean, constantly going after the blacks like that. See, and I said this before, that I draw a line between between Doves and the Southsiders and Sudanians because he's not one of them. Although he gives these false impressions that he's all that, that he's all good with them, that he was never S and Y or whatever. So he plays to that particular audience, those who don't know any better, those who were gullible and naive. And as I said before, it's disrespectful to his audience that he lies about that. He plays them for a fool. He makes them look like idiots because they sit there and they'll go and troll other people. They'll get in other people's comment and getting all disrespectful, believing that this fool is all that when he's not. But you can see in this in this video by Chill and I and I and I said go check it out. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to drop a link to it in in this video right here if I can um so you can you can check it from here but if not check out that video that that uh uh chill from 16 at life just put out and shout out to slugs I forgot the name of his channel I just tapped in right now because he's the one who originally put that piece out that 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 uh chill reacted to the first one I seen that spoke up about it was chill a black man a brother man who found that offensive that he did that. Yeah, bro, because there's some solid real people on, on here that don't stand for that nonsense, dog. They don't play that racial bullshit. They don't need to sit here and raise bait and all this other nonsense just to, just to get clicks. But this fool obviously does, and he continues to show his pantyhose every time he does it. Check it for yourself, man. Check the case for yourself via V row and see what it says about it. So everybody can know and understand where that dude really stood in prison and how he finished his time off. He was a validated ex gang member that was in 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 uh, sensitive needs yard. It says that in the case. In the civil case, it's on the public record. It's time that everybody opens their eyes and sees this dude for what he is. He's playing his audience for fools. He's playing them. He's playing them dumb because they don't know no better. And that's disrespectful to his audience. All the more disrespectful it is to those who he's throwing under the bus in the fashion that he is particularly the blacks. That's the last thing we need, man, is some race baiters, some haters like that that ain't in good standings to be sitting there stirring the pot between blacks and browns. When there's so many people talking about peace and we're so, so far from getting to that point because there's so many that don't want it, but there's still so many that do. But it's people like this that stand in the way of that. Because they're constantly, constantly creating racial divisions. And it's time that people check them on that, man. Peace. And I'm out.